Hey, what's going on YouTube? My name is Edward Diaz, Chief Operating Officer of Secure Circuitry LLC. And I'm here today to talk to you about how to study for a certification exam using the materials given to you. Now, in most certification exams, you're going to be given some materials, whether it be a wet erase board, a dry erase board, pencils, paper, whatever. You're going to be given some materials to write on. Most people never actually use these correctly, in my opinion. And what I'm going to show you is a memorization method in which you can write as much stuff as what you think is important to you on this piece of paper at the exam time, because most exams won't allow you to bring in notes. Now, what I'm about to show you is very, very simplistic, but what you can do eventually with what I'm about to show you is be able to memorize enough stuff to be able to put it on one piece of paper, one dry erase board, and many, many different items all at one time. So some people will call this technique chunking. I personally don't like that term because it sounds like throwing up, but I like to use the term things and places and places and spaces. So you'll get to see what I'm talking about in a few seconds. All right, let's get to it. All right, we're gonna start with a very, very simple example. And you're probably gonna kick yourself because this is very, very simplistic, but you'll see where I'm going with this. All right, so let's get going. So what we need to do, if you see on the screen, there's three words. I need you to say them out loud. Three blind mice. You can go ahead and say it out loud. All right, first word's missing. What was the first word? All right, now the second word is missing. What's the second, what's the second object there? All right, the third item is missing. What was the third item? All right, now they're all missing. What was the what was the whole thing? Now, if you can figure this out, all you have to do is iteratively remember things and places, places and spaces. When you write this on a piece of paper, whiteboard, whatever, if as long as you write it in the same spaces, you're going to remember it when you get down to the testing center and and, and uh, make sure that you recite this back onto the paper. All right, so what I usually do to prep for an exam and to be able to recite, remember, and have no, remember things and places and places and spaces on a piece of paper or a whiteboard, what I usually do is I use five pieces of paper. So the first piece of paper, I have everything that I want to write down in all the spaces in which they're allotted. So it could be a table somewhere, it could be a sentence, mathematical formula, whatever. From the, the example I've given you, if you have those things in certain places located on the paper or the board, you're going to remember these things. So, okay, so there were five pieces of paper. The first paper piece of paper was going to be having everything on there. It's going to be your master key, basically. So the second piece of paper, you're going to have one blank missing on all, every item that's important to you. The third piece of paper, you're going to have two blank spaces, and then you're going to have to remember what whatever those things were. On the fourth piece of paper, you're going to have more blanks missing. And then on the eventually on the fifth piece of paper, it's all blanks. It's just spaces in which you needed to put whatever it is that was important to you down and uh, just memorize it that way. So hopefully you guys found this in, in this technique useful to you. If you did, uh, I'd like to see how you guys did on the exam if you guys took my advice. Um, Please let me know in the comments below how you guys feel about this. One way or the other, that's fine too. So, all right. Well, I thank you for your time and uh, hey, see you guys later. Thanks.